Well, hi guys. Oh, are you doing okay? We're worried. You know what? I'm I'm doing actually pretty go pretty okay. I'm doing okay. It's um, it's just like for for those of you who have no context, I'll give you all the context. It's such a weird dynamic. Like me even like God, I don't know. I've had a lot of thoughts today. Yeah, but for for context for people who um have no idea what's going on. So pretty much, if you guys have no idea, um, there is a thread that dropped today on um. I know moms think the worst, but it was justified, I guess. Um, but pretty much uh, a thread dropped today that about m myself and another YouTuber named Noah J. And I wanted to give context to it um, and what happened and in, in 2021 and just like explain myself and of course like apologize. But I figured I would just address this earlier than later and just sit on it and um, I would, uh, the second I saw it, I was never going to deny anything. And if I'm being honest, I have sat on this for a couple years now. And I've, I've thought about just saying it like with, without names, right? I've, I've, because I, when I feel something or I'm going through something, I, I want to talk about it. And I, I've thought about just saying like the story of what happened without saying who was involved and just to get, get it off my chest and to like tell, because I don't want people to support me without knowing who I am, you know, and, and things I've done. And I feel like when you do that as a creator, you just feel like you're lying. Like, I just feel like if you knew everything about me or all the skeletons in my closet, you wouldn't support me. And I think that's fair. I think you can look at somebody and be like, I don't like that you did this. Um, I'm not going to support you. And so I would actually, after I tell you guys all this, if that's what you think about me, if that's what you, if that's what you say to yourself, you're like, wow, I see you completely differently. I don't want to support you anymore. I am like so fine with that. And like, seriously, completely fine. I think you can, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to catch to the chase. So, um, in 2021, Edison and I, we, we, um, this is so weird. So I'm having an out of body experience. Cause I've been like, I'm like, I know that so many people are going to like, my friends are going to, some of my friends are going to find out this way. A lot of, a lot of my friends, not a lot. I would say like a handful of my friends already know and have known for years because I confided in them back then, but some of them I didn't. Um, so they're, they're gonna be like, what is going on? <laughs> well, like, anyways, in 2021, um, Edison and I, we obviously broke up. Everybody knows this. I, if you don't know, I used to be engaged. Um, I was in a relationship of like six years. Uh, we started dating a long time ago. Anyway, so Edison and I had a rocky, a very rocky end of our relationship. Um, I got like cold feet and, um, there was just a lot of stuff between the two of us that we we just realized like we're not ready for this and we decided to end our engagement and we we ended it we we well before we ended it we took a break and then we it was like a on and off a little bit uh we weren't together we were like hey two weeks away from each other let's see that didn't work we we're like hey what's the point of a break let's just break up right so we broke up and then we didn't say anything publicly for like a month a month and a half right um we announced publicly that we broke up but um, before that, when I was broken up, before it was public that I was broken up, um, I went to 100 Thieves Creator Camp. And we, um, when I was there, I was obviously a mess. I was just trying to distract myself, but I had just got, gotten out of an engagement. So I um, was, you know how I am with when I, when I yap. I, like, I just talk to everything, uh, everybody and I just say things. So we were, we were getting cozy. Everyone got really like got to know each other pretty well. We're staying up to like two, three, four, five a.m. just like by campfires and stuff. And so I got to know a guy there named Noah J. And he's a YouTuber and stuff. He's he's with a hundred thieves. Super friendly dude. And so um, I was like, oh, this guy's awesome. And so I I started to open up. I opened up with a couple people about it, but he was one of the people that I started to tell. And I was like, I like I just me and my fiance, like my ex fiance, we just like we're, we're, um, we broke up and I'm going through like a really hard time. I don't know how to deal with things. And like, was it the right decision? Yada, yada, yada. So, um, he then confided in me and he told me that he like, basically like, Hey, he's like, I'm married. Marriage is not that simple. He's like, um, basically explaining that him and like that him and his wife like have struggles too. And I felt very comforted knowing that like, you know, when I look at like that, my relationship fell apart that like other people's like from the outside, it might look perfect, but it's not perfect. Like relationships just aren't perfect. Right. And it felt comforting to, to, to know that. 
Um, and so I, I felt, so I talked to him more and, um, we talked and I remember we stayed up like till five and we talked, um, and I felt so like, oh, like understood. And so the camp, the camp ended. And after the camp, I was like, wait, I like feel like we should continue our conversation. And like, and that's when we, we did, we just, we kept talking and we talked about, he shared more about his relationship and essentially right then and there was like where I should have known it was like not okay in my mind it was like oh he's married let me if anything like let me like I know he's married so it there's nothing right it's like just two people going through it and I don't know if you've ever been broken up with or broken up with someone or ended a relationship but like you look for other people who are there to talk to right you you confide in people and and people who really listen to you and people it's really easy to like trauma bond with somebody and I think that that is obviously in a relationship it's like not okay to I think it's like very like from my perspective at least it's very inappropriate to like like I'm if I'm in a relationship I'm not going to go listen to like one guy vent about his relationship problems to me like that's already like crossing a line right and so obviously the line was already crossed at camp just me like me listening to his problems I felt like was already crossing a line but in my mind I kept justifying like oh okay this is me helping if anything I was like you should go get therapy you guys should go work on it um like you know like you maybe you got married young but like you guys can still go forward and fix it right um but I absolutely selfishly enjoyed his company and and in a in a like in a way that I shouldn't have right knowing like the way I thought about it was like if I'm his wife I'm not comfortable with him on a call with me right like that's that's it right um so we kept calling and we were like because he was back in Texas at the time and we were just like on calls and we were like talking and then we play Valorant and I remember we just play Valo and stuff and then over time pretty much I just like didn't want to admit it but I developed feelings and he developed feelings and it was just like we couldn't we didn't want to admit it but like we kept talking and then I was like and he said like I think I'm gonna get a divorce pretty much he's like I've been it was like he was already talking about it right from the start and the second he was like I'm gonna like I'm we're gonna I'm gonna do this I let myself be like I think I'm going to I think I was like that like switched something in my brain that was like there's hope that we could be together I was like okay then I can like wait until papers are signed and then like we could be together after all of this but throughout that entire thing like that's like what am I doing you know what am I doing and I'm going to bed every night and I'm on Google going like it what counts what constitutes emotional cheating what constitutes that like what am I doing what like I, I was trying to justify my mind I was like oh well they're going to they're going to get a divorce so so I'm allowed to feel this way right and then like I would battle with that feeling and then I was like I was like you know like I was just going back and forth trying like the, the mental gymnastics you go through and I went through to tell myself that what I was doing was not wrong is insane is insane because I come from somewhere where like literally cheating is death like you are a awful person to do that to somebody you love what is wrong with you how could you do that? Especially like, you know, my past, like I pretty much cheated on it in, in high school, I mean, college, like, um, for those of you who know, like the whole, like, you know, um, with my ex and stuff. And I like, of course, so I know what it feels like to be on the other side. And so like the amount, the amount of gymnastics I was just going through, um, but it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. The moment we got on those calls, um, was where like the moment it, we, we opened up like that was where it was like, in my mind, that was already like, that was crossing the line entirely. Um, I want to just like, some people are saying that I um, cheated on Edison. Um, no, I did not. Um, we were broken up. It, 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 whatever. Um, that, it, 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 no, okay. I did not, 100%. Um, it was because we broke up that I felt the need to to dump my emotions on people I was like I'm going through this and I and I don't know how to deal with a breakup and I don't know how to publicly 
I don't know how to like it's not a normal human thing to go through a breakup and then to have to announce your breakup publicly and then have people speculate about your breakup and I was like dealing with all these emotions like um dealing with the, the way that people will perceive me from breaking up with him or, or him, like you know that whole thing so I, it was because of that that I then looked for emotional support um and so um yeah damn I came at the wrong time <laughs> It's easy to emotionally attach yourself to people when you're suffering. Yeah, no, guys, it, it like, it's, yeah, it's what I did. I, I was going through something and I looked for someone who else, who was also going through something. And I should have like literally been like nip it in the bud right there and been like, yo, that is not like me. I should not be dumping to you like this. Like that's not, but instead it felt so good to, to be heard and to be related to. I was like, wait, yeah, you get it. <laughs> oh my God, you get it. And we're both like, you know, like, like we're both creators and, and streamers and then like, um, our SOs or like form, you know, they were not. And like, we had so much, like so many of our struggles were the same. So I felt so hurt at the time. Uh, and, um, it doesn't matter though. You know, it was the dumbest mistake, the dumbest regret of my life, the guilt I felt and still feel that th there was a day I felt so guilty. Um, and all I wanted to do was like just like get on a call with her and apologize so deeply and um and I uh I remember I was I was actually with my parents and nobody knew at this time not one not one soul except me and I remember feeling like so tight in every part of my body and uh, all I was hearing was like this ringing and and my parents were like talking to me right and I'm just nodding like mm-hmm yeah, yeah, yeah. And trying to breathe, and I went to the bathroom, and I was like, I was like, can I go to the bathroom? And I just went to the bathroom, and I breathed, and I'm like, what am I going to do? <laughs> what am I going to do? And uh, um, anyways, I, uh, so um, we, we obviously, uh, I tried to apologize. I sent a letter, but uh, I don't know if it was ever received. And I, um, we, then we cut all contact. I was like, I cannot. I can't like this is just uh it's not okay it's not okay um in my, in my mind like I was always thinking we could we could date after we could we could be together after all of this <laughs> like that's what's in the stars is like we're we connect on such a fundamental level we'll get together after all of it and I was like hell no <laughs> hell no <laughs> this will not this will not be like how it happens and I couldn't live with myself and um oh honey hi honey um anyways like the first thing when i saw it like out today because there's some like call of duty drama or something and um you know and it someone in the call of duty space i don't really know how it happened but like someone said it right and i i've thought about this day a lot because i actually like i told i thought about saying it myself to you guys um like with no context just like in a vulnerable state because uh I always said to myself, like, I really just want it to be out there. Like, I want, I want my community to know that, like, I'm, I'm like not. Well, I don't think anyone thought I was perfect, uh, and I don't portray myself to be perfect. But I, I want people to like, if they support me, they, they, they know I've effed up. You know what I mean? I would not. Yeah, I don't want to just hide this. I would never like, you know. There's a solution. Some like, oh, well, we'll just never talk about it. It's like, no. I'm I, the second I saw it, I was like. I felt panic and then I felt relief and I'm like, I can talk about it and I can say it and I can, I can share that I made a mistake. It was a horrible, horrible mistake. I regret it so much. And I'm the exact person that I've judged and, and, and looked at and been like, you're disgusting. Who would do that? Like you're gross. Like, like I've, I'm the exact person. That's me. And I, and, and living with myself for that first couple months, like I couldn't I was just like I did that I did that I'm so what is wrong with me like I made up every excuse in the book why what I was doing was justified and wasn't wrong and um like you know like I I made up I'm just made up oh my god I can't even believe it. I was just like and I watched myself google like why it really wasn't that bad or like coping and then it turned into me going how to cope with immense guilt <laughs> how do I do this how do I live with myself? Um, 
and then I was just looking for I don't know and then I told a couple friends but I couldn't bring myself to tell everybody I knew because I just didn't want to like lose everybody every friend I told was so understanding of me and disappointed but so understanding of me um and yeah they were really it was really um just listen to me and yeah i don't expect anybody here to be understanding of me um but yeah I, i'm 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 human um you messed up i messed up stupid fucking mistakes <laughs> yeah it's it i don't really know what else to say i guess i just I think I'm sharing what I think is necessary for the, for me to share, to, to, to share. Yeah. I'm like, I could give this whole damn time. Like, but I, you know, um, dude, being in the public space, I always thought that when this came out, it'd be the end of my whole career or like, as in I would end my career there. Like I was like, when I say it, I will end, I will not be a streamer anymore. I'll be done and it will be out and I can live with myself i can live with knowing the world knows i can't believe i called my mom i called my mom and she's like leslie you're a sinner i'm a sinner we're all sinners you can ask for forgiveness and yeah you know, hope and and then hope that um yeah i hope you get it but she was just like so i don't know i was so shocked i was like dang <laughs> I'm not quitting. No, I'm not quitting. It's it's more. I I don't know, dude. The call with Noah I, I was so. <laughs> I was like, dude. I, I was like, hey, haven't talked to you in uh two and a half years. Uh, we've awkwardly avoided each other for years, trying because every time we look at each other, we're reminded of our horrible past. <laughs> and I was like, so we should talk. You know, like. How are you doing? Um, I'm really like I'm really sorry. Um, I'm really sorry I've been ignoring you, but like every time I looked at you, I I saw like I saw my deepest regret, and I know you're you know like and he's like hey it's okay zero it's like I get it I get it, and uh, he was like you know talk about it I was like I'm gonna talk about it he's like you can say whatever you want to say and I was like thank you, um, yeah he was really great about it. But yeah, I felt so, God, like, I felt so bad, like, when I would see him. He would, like, make me think of everything I didn't want to, like, see in myself. I'd try to forget about it, but I would think about it all the time. Anyway, so you don't have to forgive me. Uh, it's cool if you say, like, screw you, dude. Um, you're gross. That's actually disgusting. Um, you know, whatever. Um, it's okay. Um, and a lot of people are like, I hope she's okay. I hope you're doing okay. I feel a weight lifted, guys. I, I feel a weight lifted. And and do with that information what you will. And it's okay. Um, it's okay. If, uh, and maybe, yeah. Oh, none of us expected this, yeah. But I just want to share that I'm a, I'm a human who I hope you don't put on a pedestal, who makes mistakes because I'm an idiot. And don't be me and don't aspire to be me. Um, and don't need to forgive me, um, and, uh, and any of that. I've been on the other end. Sorry, that makes me so sad. <laughs> like, <sighs> um, I'm sorry. At the end of the day, I'm just really sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And I know I can just say that, but like, holy crap, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And I haven't ever felt so much regret about anything in my whole life. And I, I can't believe it. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so stupid. And I'm, I, 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 I mean, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just really sorry to anyone who has been hurt by a situation like this. And, uh, and, yeah. It's so awful. I just got carried away. And I was like, yeah, after it. 
you know, he's gonna sign some papers and we'll start, we'll be good, we'll, we'll, we'll actually date, I can actually date, you know, like, that's in my mind, I just saw it going that way, I was like, it'll be worth it, because, like, we just click on such a fundamental level, but I think when you trauma bond with somebody over something, or you, like, you're both going through a very similar situation, it's very easy to just, like, whoop, latch onto them, and, like, every, like, you literally latch, you know, and, and that's what I did, I just latched on to somebody who, like, who became, like, dumping block for me like I just was like this is everything that I've been going through and oh my god you understand it and and uh and then I yeah so now you can go back on that tweet I dropped and understand or like way long ago I was my brain I don't even know I normally just a lurker but I just wanted to tell you that it's okay it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to be human. Emotions get the best of us sometimes, as long as you learn. I hope that, I, not just did I learn, but I hope that you guys can learn from me. I hope you can learn from me. To not hurt someone like that. I really hope so. Just like, think about me now, and don't you don't want to be this. <laughs> Just think about it when it's like, you know, you see yourself. It's about to be messy. Just be like, oh, wait. I see it. I flash forward into me right now. And then be like, no, I'm going to do that. <sighs> Awful. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes, personal relationships and whatnot. You don't know. Like, uh, it's really easy to just judge things. And there's so much behind the scenes that people don't know. There's so much. Um, just, like, conversations and context to to a lot. It's not just, like, I don't know. It, it's a lot of lump all these people in this category. Lump everyone in this category. But anyways. For some reason, people think I have such a, like, like, I'm so squeaky clean, but I'm really not. Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I am. I'm not trying to uh, sell that image that I'm perfect. I think just, I think if you watch me enough, you'll understand I'm not actually, like, that family friendly. <laughs> I'm, it's just the people who, like, compare me maybe to, like, certain other people. I've been cheated on and I've been in your shoes. These things truly happen. It's not your fault. It, it is my fault. It is my fault. But it, I will say it does happen. And, and you don't even realize it's happening until it's happening. And then while it's happening, you're telling yourself everything that you can and justifying it in every way to make it feel like it's actually not happening it's actually a little different in your situation it's actually not quite the same because you know it's already rocky they're already doing this you know what i mean they're already breaking up so it's okay it's not you know what i mean it's so in my mind i'm justifying and you're just lying to yourself to 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 because nobody wants to look at themselves and be like i'm a bad person i'm that person no one ever will tell themselves that <laughs>